VS Code has just added GitHub Copilot to every single user for free. The best part is you can even use Claude 3.5 Sonnet, which is the best coding LLM out right now to help you write code directly into VS Code. I'm gonna show you how to sign up, how to use it, and I'm gonna give you a practical example of how I would potentially use it using this system. Let's jump right into the video. All right, so in order to use this, basically all you have to do is if you have VS Code, great, you just go ahead and download it. You gotta make sure you're using the latest version of VS Code. And you can see here, they're already advertising this, get GitHub Copilot for free in VS Code. So before you had to pay for this, uh, but now it's 100% free. So very, very cool for people that don't wanna pay. They're showing you basically how this works here. You know, if you've used VS Code in the past, uh, it's basically the best, you know, code editor out there right now. So you can see I have it downloaded here. Uh, so when you have the latest version, you're gonna see this little guy with goggles here at the top. You're gonna see manage Copilot plan, manage settings. You're gonna have to log in. So once you log in, you basically have access. So if I go to manage Copilot settings here, you can see this connects directly to my GitHub account. And you, you know, I'm basically on this free version with 2000 code completions, et cetera. Uh, for unlimited um, interactions and access to latest models, uh, you can get the Copilot Pro. But again, I wanted to showcase that this is now free. So you don't have to do that. So I'm using the free account here. I'm logged in um, to Copilot and I'm in VS Code. And so I just kind of want to show you how this works and give you a practical example. It's a lot like cursor. So if you've seen any of my cursor videos before, you know uh, basically how that works. It's pretty similar. You basically have Copilot sitting right down here, ready to help you with anything you need. Uh, and there's a little drop down menu so I can select 3.5 Sonnet or 4.0. So you know, if I had a pro account, I could actually use different ones. I could actually use 01 uh, itself. So like the latest model um, from ChatGPT that's out right now, 01. Uh, eventually, I'm sure you'll be able to use 03, which I'm super excited about, but that's not gonna be out for a while. Uh, so basically, I'm just gonna show you a practical example here. So I'm gonna start with Claude. Now I could start directly here and ask it to start coding something for me, but I'm gonna start here directly in Claude and then I'm gonna import that into VS Code and I'm gonna have it sort of edit what I've written. So I personally think that this tool is most effective for people that are currently programmers. Uh, if you're starting directly from scratch, I think that it's probably gonna be easier to do with the method I'm showing you right now, but this Copilot is really just to help programmers. That's why it's called Copilot, because it's like, you know, as a programmer, it's gonna help you through the process. So I'll show you how to use it, really, really simple. So we'll go over here to Claude.ai. I'm using my free account here. So uh, a practical example I was thinking of uh, was, to, was to write like a Python script where I could give it a list of URLs and it's gonna crawl those URLs and see if it has a certain uh, JavaScript code. So this is something I do for marketing where I crawl a bunch of different websites. I find out if they're running a certain JavaScript code or certain type of website, a certain CMS, and then I reach out to them and I market to them either by email, phone, or whatever that is. So uh, let's do that now. So I'm gonna say, write me a simple Python script that will review a list of domains and check for an older version of Google Analytics JS in the source code of that website. All right, so something that happened recently, Google changed to GA4. So basically as a marketer, that's a big deal because now I can reach out to people that are using the older version that haven't done a full migration and potentially offer them services. So uh, by crawling a bunch of websites, I'll be able to do that. So you can see here, I, I asked it to write me this simple, simple Python script. It says I'll create a Python script that checks websites for older versions, Google Analytics. Uh, which precede or gtag.js. So the script for, you know, looks for three different versions, concurrent domain checking, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So then it tells you how to install the script and it tells you what to do, create a domain dot text or modify the domains list in the script. So this is great. I'm gonna go ahead and download this and I'm going to open this up and I'm actually gonna open this directly in VS Code. So I'm just gonna say open. All right, so we're in VS Code. We have the piece of code that Claude AI has written for us. And so that's great. So now let's say I wanted to edit this a little bit here. So let's see the header it's using here. Uh, so it's basically using a bunch of these different user agents. So let's say what I want to do. So I'm gonna come in here to Copilot and I'm gonna say, this is a Python script that checks for older versions of Google Analytics on a list of domains. I'd like you to expand the functionality to produce a CSV file with a column that also tells me what version of Google Analytics was detected on the domain that was crawled by the script. So 
essentially I want to know what version of analytics it found. So let's see what it does. All right. So it's generating. So you can see here, let's plan how to add this functionality, add a pattern matching for different GA versions, modify result dictionary to include analytics details, add CSV output functionality, update the main processing logic. Here's the enhanced code. All right. So cool. So it, it wrote some code for us. And it's saying, uh, and update the main execution part. So that's great. So uh, let's see, I'm gonna apply this into editor and we'll apply this uh, as well. You can see that it's now rewriting our code for us. And I'm gonna go ahead and accept these changes. And so now we have an updated piece of code that does this analytics checker. So uh, I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna say, what's the step-by-step -step on how to run this piece of code? Okay, so it's recommending we, re we create a virtual environment. Pretty smart. Tell me to pip install the requests, prepare input domains, run the script. So you can see that it's basically using 3.5 Sonnet, right? So this is obviously coming from 3.5 Sonnet, but instead of being stuck inside of claw.ai, right? And then having to copy this and move it over to editors, I'm using it directly in my editor, right? So it's a lot like cursor in that way, but it's using 3.5 Sonnet and it's using VS code, which has a ton of different options. There's a million extensions in VS code um, that you can use here. So, you know, I can do GitHub pull requests directly to GitHub. You know, there's so many different things, right? We can, we can run Docker uh, to, to do like virtual environment. I mean, it's just like endless, right? So that's that's the main benefit of using VS Code. So this is a really big deal. I wanted to bring this to you uh, for anyone who's a coder who wants to, to use this. It's now 100% free. I just wanted to show you how to use it, how to experiment with this. Uh, and it is really, really cool. So if you like this video, give it a like, drop a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. And if you want to learn coding, you want to learn AI and how to use AI to code, definitely subscribe to this channel. I make a ton of content on that and you're not going to want to miss it.